Hey friends, today we are checking in to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort for the 4th of July weekend. My friends are getting married here and I'm so happy for them and honored to be able to attend their wedding. I figured I'd make a video recapping all of my experiences. So we're going to attend a Disney fairy tale wedding, watch the 4th of July fireworks and have a beautiful Grand Floridian kind of day. Anywho, Let's go do this. The wedding is tonight and the 4th of July fireworks are tomorrow at the Magic Kingdom. You can see Cinderella Castle right there. And I'm going to try to make this whole weekend into one video. So we're going to carry it over to the next day. And I'm sorry if it's a little bit all over the place, but we have a lot going on. And I want to make sure I have fun and uh, show you everything. Now, even though my friend said that they would love for me to make a video of their wedding, I kind of just want to be respectful and be here to celebrate and have fun. So I'm not going to be covering the wedding itself that much, but I will show you some things like the reception and maybe the uh, Disney wedding chapel if nobody's in there. Uh, but mainly this is just about our experiences here for the weekend for 4th of July. My friend Sean's with me and he's actually a groomsman in the wedding and uh, yeah I think it's gonna be an amazing week I, I am so excited for this the Grand Floridian is such a beautiful resort for a wedding and I've always wanted to attend one here so like I said I'm very honored to be able to come and uh, it's a hot day today it is a hot weekend in fact we're probably gonna be hanging out by the pool and just doing a lot of fun things around the resort so I'll try to show you uh, everything as we go and also I think we're gonna have brunch at the Grand Floridian Cafe we are going to go get checked into our room and I'll give you the full tour once we get in there. And then I'm uh, going to go to brunch at the Grand Floridian Cafe like I mentioned. Maybe hit the pool and then get ready for the wedding. And Sean is a groomsman so he has to wear the full suit. I'm going to be wearing, you know, nice, nice wedding attire with a little Disney touch to it. And I'm just excited to be all dressed up at the Grand Floridian and then going to a wedding. Looks like we're going to be staying in Sago K, this building right here. And I've never stayed in this building before, but I'm so excited because it's got a Cinderella Castle view. Look at this. Wow. Look at right there. That's Cinderella Castle. So we're going to be able to watch the fireworks probably from our balcony. And this is our building right here. That's unbelievable. That's amazing. I'm also thinking we might be getting one of the new renovated rooms here because the hallway is all renovated. So uh, it's going to be cool to see one of those newer Grand Floridian rooms. Wow, I was not expecting this, but holy moly, this is beautiful. This is our room. Holy moly, this is one of the new renovated rooms and we have a living room kind of. Look at, I didn't even know these existed in the Grand Floridian rooms. Look at this, we have like a whole nother spot, two TVs too. Like there's another TV right here and then we have a balcony out there. This is really amazing. I am like shocked. I love all the artwork. Like look at this right here. It is so beautiful. This room is Amazing. I don't know if every single room has like this little special like area, but uh, I love it. I like the uh, the hardwood floors and the little bit of the rug right here. We've got two queen beds. Got some more Mary Poppins art over there. Got a little kitchen area with a Keurig. Probably a mini fridge down there. The bathroom in here. Look at this bathroom. Oh, I love this. I think this is so cool. They've got the... Uh, H2O products locked up. Look at that. So amazing. Even the mirror. Hello, that's me. I like everything in here. I love the fact that we have kind of a larger balcony too. And this is the perfect room to get ready for a wedding in. Like, <laughs> we're gonna be fancy. We're gonna be really fancy. Wow, you can open up the windows. That's too cool. That really is cool. And then here's the balcony. You can see uh, it's a firework view balcony, but look how long it is. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, 
This is probably one of the best Grand Floridian rooms I've ever stayed in. You got, oh, you can see the monorail. You can see Space Mountain and Tron over there. The boats, the firework view is going to be amazing from here. Wow. Look at that. This is so epic. This is almost just like the uh, DVC, the Disney Vacation Club uh, newer updated rooms, except for I think they, uh, those ones have like a bigger kitchen area. It's not even a kitchen area, a better like uh, appliance area with like the fridge and stuff like that. But I am impressed big time here. All of the other resorts, except for the deluxe ones, have like a regular Mr. Coffee pot. But here at the Grand Floridian, nothing but the best. They give you all the K-cups here, the creamer. Look how neat and organized that is. I kind of want to take it home. <laughs> like, that would be nice. <laughs> oh, look, you can see Mary Poppins right here. Look at that. She's in the wallpaper. Look at Bert's there too. Wow. I love that. Mary Poppins is one of my favorite movies. So this is perfect. Even the umbrella, that's too cool. The ceilings are definitely a little bit higher in here because you got the crown molding there. The light fixtures, these are the ones in the Disney Vacation Club, the little penguins on there. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I love all of it. Even the uh, uh, lampshade here, all Mary Poppins. I wonder if Mary and Bert are on this one too. No, just the, uh, just the umbrella. Still very cool. Ooh, fancy lights. And that feels nice too. Oh. I get all excited about everything. These are gonna be the new Polynesian pillows right there. Very comfy. Four pillows too. I also love the bathroom because of all the gold trimming on here. And then of course, the Grand Floridian stamp on the toilet paper. Look at that. Much too cool. We are so lucky that we got this room with the extra like living room area here. I think that there's only like five of them in each building. I'm not too sure because this is like the round section. I'll point it out when we go outside, but I think there's literally only one on each floor unless they have another one on the other side. But wow, this is so cool. I've never seen this before. Like I've stayed at the Grand Floridian many of times and I have never been this lucky. Must be uh, the wedding. Maybe we're in luck because of the wedding. Look at that. Sean's showing the pull-out bed now. It's not even a pull-out bed, it's just a flip-down bed. Yeah. So there's plenty of places to sleep. You got a bed there. You That's got a nice size twin bed. Yeah, you got a chair there. You can put the coffee table up and spread your legs out. Two beds, you know, underneath the bed. Perfect, extra space. There's a lot of room under here. <laughs> Now that we've gotten the room tour taken care of, and I'm still in shock on how amazing that room is, time to head out and go get some brunch with some friends over at the Grand Floridian Cafe. Now it's time to make our way into the Grand Floridian Cafe, a little brunch. The cast member that checked us in actually called it blunch. Blunch, not brunch. So breakfast, lunch, blunch. I mean, where did brunch ever come from? And here is a look at the brunch menu. And it looks like they have a good mixture of breakfast and lunch. We've got steak and eggs, the grand breakfast. Ooh, the grand breakfast. Two eggs served with bacon, sausage, and cheesy hash brown casserole. Then they got a Reuben, a buttermilk fried chicken and waffle, the Grand Floridian Cafe signature burger. There's a lot going on here. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna get. Ooh, they have the brioche French toast. The Oh, is that a gigantic Mickey-shaped waffle? Like one of the big Mickey waffles? Because if that's so, I might have to get it. I wonder if I can get it with the chicken. The best part of waking up is a Grand Floridian coffee. It's hot. And you can't have a Disney breakfast without having a pog juice. I feel like this is an automatic order every time I come anywhere for Disney breakfast. Ooh, and a spoon or two. And a spoon. One for each. Spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. <laughs> I can't pop the pen. You can't pop the pen. It messes your face up. It causes it, it messes it up. It causes scars. And I still I'm still I'm still traumatized from popping that one. There's a scar there now. I heard you're supposed to pop it. 
I recorded that whole thing. I'm leaving it in. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> the biscuits have arrived and they only gave us five. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to get some extra biscuits. So I'm all about that. And then they have citrus butter. Look at that. Fancy butter. The butter actually has like orange peels inside of it there. That's it. I'm gonna put it, spread it right on there. Let's give this the biscuit test. That's a good biscuit. Wow. The reason I got two spoons is because I ended up getting the soup of the day. Because, you know, I'm, I'm a big soup guy. You guys know I love soup. But also because I've got the Banana Foster's Oatmeal. And it comes with a fresh baked uh, banana nut muffin. And then I think this right here is like the Foster's like milk or sauce. It smells like, like a dessert. And it looks good. Even look at those bananas. They look caramelized like perfectly. This all looks amazing. I'm ready to dive in. Good soup. I'm a big oatmeal fan too, so that's why I ended up ordering this. It was $10 for the oatmeal, and I think the soup was more expensive than the oatmeal actually. Yeah, and you get way more with the oatmeal. You get the muffin, you get the whole bowl of oatmeal, the bananas, and uh, I'm gonna dive in. I don't know what I should do with this though. I've never, like, I don't know what to do. I like my oatmeal thick, so I don't wanna run it down a little bit. You know what I mean? I don't know what to do. I'm gonna try a little bit. Yeah, maybe I'll just do it like this. Like that. And then maybe a little bit like this. There we go. We'll give it a go and see how it goes. That's amazing. That is really good. Wow. I literally just take the muffin and put it right inside the oatmeal. Look at that. It is so good. And then you know what? You want to make it even better? Just add a little bit of this. Oh my lord. I can eat. I can I actually I'm good after this. So I ordered something else, but I should and I should just stick right to this. The main event has arrived and it's the signature chicken and waffles. Look at this. You get a gigantic Mickey waffle and then corn flakes breaded. Well, Cornflake breaded chicken. Look at that. Oh my lord, you can literally see the cornflake breading on there. And then there's a special honey sriracha glaze on there too. Wow, look at that. Like remember those honey, you can see the cornflakes right there. This looks phenomenal. It does come with that sriracha honey sauce, but I feel I need to put some syrup on there. Just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit of syrup. Just a little syrup. Whatever you do, you don't want to drench it. You don't want to add tons of syrup to it. Just a little bit, just to get enough that there's at least a little bit of syrup on every single bite. Not a lot, just a little bit. Not a lot? Just, just a little. Not, not much, just a little. <laughs> and of course, you gotta go ears first, always. Look at that, that's a big ear too. I actually, I can't eat it alone. I gotta eat it with the one-two punch. Get a little bit of the chicken, a little bit of the waffle. Oh boy, it's falling. The two for one deal. The two for, the two for one. <laughs> they definitely give you a lot of chicken, like two full chicken breasts. I would say 12 ounces, maybe six and six. That's a big meal. Usually uh, with uh, breakfast, they don't put that much on there. So it's very filling and Mickey's huge. And now he has no ears or a body. Who can live life that way? Brunch was amazing and plenty of food. Now I am stuffed and uh, it's time to head back to the room. Maybe uh, go for a dip at the pool for a little bit. Just kind of want to cool off because I know it's going to be super hot once we get all dressed up. So kind of just keep myself cool until then. You know what I mean? I'm going to get dressed at the very last second. Like I mentioned, we have the uh, 4th of July fireworks uh, to look forward to tomorrow, which I'm going to add all of that in one video today. Uh, if I had more time, though, tomorrow, I wouldn't mind renting one of these boats and just going out and hanging out on Seven Seas Lagoon. You know, it's one of my favorite things to do. But today, I think we're going to just spend some time at the pool. 
We're gonna head out to the pool now, but I wanted to show you the fancy swimming attire for this evening. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna get ready for the wedding. Might give you a nice little show of us getting ready for the wedding. Getting ready for the big day, you know? Look at this, fancy. I got mine on. We're going swimming at the Grand Floridian. Fancy. <laughs> Sitting by the pool, drinking some uh, brute. I was trying to get uh, some Prosecco, but they didn't have any, you know? But cheers, cheers to Brandon. Cheers to Brandon. Cheers to Brandon, and your Michael Eisner shirt. Wow. <laughs> this pool is the quiet pool, and it's really awesome because you can see all of the hotel. Uh, but on the other side, over by the DVC building, they have the main, like the big pool, and that one has a water slide. We might hop over there later, though. Sipping on champagne at the pool. Ah, bubbly blessed. <laughs> Seriously though, look at this view of the Grand Floridian from up here. What a beautiful day it is today. Oh boy. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> oh my lord! This is faster! Woo-hoo! We're coming in hot! The pool was really nice. It was great to just cool off a little bit, hang out, and sip on some champagne. And now it's time for us to go get ready for the wedding. In fact, like the wedding is in like 45 minutes. We have 45 minutes to go from pool to full uh, wedding attire, and I'm excited. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I, I Like I said, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film, um, but uh, I just wanna show you guys a little bit. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I had to run out to my car to get something for my outfit and I wanted to point out to you guys that it's 104 degrees out by my car standards and uh, yeah it is super hot I'm already dry like I'm literally already dry and I also need to get some gas I'm running on empty all right it's time to change out into my wedding attire see you guys in a bit And here it is, my outfit. I got the Steamboat Willie Roosevelt, a nice little blue jacket, black pants and white shoes. I think it's perfect. I feel fancy, I feel good, I feel pretty. It's so funny because both me and Sean feel so fancy getting ready for a wedding at the Grand Floridian. But uh, yeah, it's time to <laughs> make our way out. But it was kind of funny because we were trying to do something funny. We were trying to make like one of those like uh, scenes where like they, you know, people are getting ready and stuff like that. It didn't work out too well, but I'll add a little bit in there. Like I'll add some of the clips just to show you because it was funny. All right, it's time. We're heading in. This is so cool. I love the fact that we got to get ready here at the Grand Floridian, and now we're making our way to the uh, wedding chapel. Look at the dapper gentleman in front. <laughs> Nothing like sealing up our cards right before the wedding. I gave it all my heart, Brandon. Just know that. All his heart. All my heart's in there. I'm I just sorry. said... Oh, well, maybe. I'm going to leave Sean here, and he is going to do his duties, and I'm going to go get ready to uh, get my seat. Look at that. They're all getting ready. Look at photos and everything. I'm heading over to the wedding pavilion so I can get my seat and it's pretty amazing how they're all taking their photos like they're taking their wedding photos in the lobby of the Grand Floridian and they have the piano music playing it's really really cool we get a nice little uh, lift over to the wedding pavilion this is actually really fancy I like this a lot I'm like oh wow oh, I get a little uh, taken right there Whew. 
There it goes. <laughs> Well, that was funny. As we were riding along in the golf cart to get to the wedding chapel, the battery started to die because there was like seven of us on there. So we hopped out, we pushed it, and let the ladies sit in there because, you know, it's a hot day out, so you want to look great. You don't want to be all sweaty. We're about to go inside uh, Disney's wedding pavilion. So uh, the ladies get the treatment. That's the way. That's how it should be. Look at how beautiful this is. This is the wedding pavilion. The gates are open. I'm gonna see what the sign says. And uh, I think I head right on in. I'm not too sure, we'll find out. The newlyweds are gonna be driving away in this right here. How beautiful is that? Wow, it's gorgeous. Very fancy, definitely uh, worth the Grand Floridian. All right, it's time to head on in for the wedding gets across the bridge now the gates are finally open look at that it's so beautiful once we get in here you'll see you can see Cinderella Castle it's so amazing like Cinderella Castle is directly in between the groom and the bride it's 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 literally breathtaking look at how beautiful this is and you can see Cinderella Castle right through the window well, that was a beautiful ceremony. Congratulations to the newlyweds. It was amazing, and thank you so much for inviting me. Now, it's time to get ready for the uh, reception, and we're doing the reception uh, over at the Grand Floridian Conference Center. Yep, and we have made it to the convention center. Look at that. Thanks, sir. Holy moly, look how beautiful it is in here. I've never been in the convention center here. Look at the Mickey balloons up there. Wow. Grand Floridian Ballroom. I don't know which one we're in, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, if we could please have all guests stand up and rise at your tables and seats, focusing your attention on the Grand Floridian Ballroom. Ladies and gentlemen, reception is so much fun we're all just mingling hanging out dancing and uh, the food is fantastic I ended up getting the short rib which was amazing I was so happy I ended up getting it but now I think we might get the chance to see happily ever after because it's kind of stationed where the convention center is you can actually see the fireworks as they do it I think they might pump the music so I think we're gonna check that out the fireworks are going to be just about right here, I think, maybe, because you can see the castle right in the center there. And it's going to be nice seeing the monorail drive by, too. And I don't know if they're going to pump out the uh, music. We're right here at the convention center, but um, I don't know, because they have a DJ in there for the dance party. So I don't know if they are. We'll see. Isn't that so cool? And now the fireworks will be shooting off right there.
you could really see the fireworks pretty good from there. I didn't think it was going to be that, like, close. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty amazing. I don't want to put, like, all of it in. But, uh, put a little bit in there. And also, did you see that spider? There was literally a spider, like, right in front of me. And, and I didn't really notice until, uh, I was already filming. So then I was like, oh, I'm going to show everybody else. But that was kind of scary. Sorry if I scared anyone. But, yeah, that, that was pretty nice. I liked it a lot. It's so awesome that we are staying in like that little, what do you call that, a funnel? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, we have made it back to the hotel room and it's time to call it a night. But like I said, we're going to pick it up tomorrow morning and uh, show you some of the 4th of July festivities at Magic Kingdom. But I wanted to say congratulations to Brandon and Gabby. You guys are beautiful. The wedding was amazing. The reception was fantastic. I'm sorry I didn't show a lot of it, but like I said, I really wanted to just have a good time myself and be there for them and uh, celebrate this amazing occasion. So uh, time to call it a night, hit the sack. I got this side. <laughs> The best part of waking up is Mary Poppins at the side of your bed. Well, it is now officially a new day, and it is time to start making our way over to the Magic Kingdom. We're going to watch the 4th of July fireworks a day early. Well, today is July 3rd, uh, but Magic Kingdom does their fireworks on the 3rd and the 4th, and then Epcot does a special one only on the 4th. So usually we go Magic Kingdom on the 3rd, and then uh, on the 4th itself, always probably Epcot. Uh, but yeah, the fireworks are going to be amazing and we're going to hang out a little bit, maybe ride some rides. Who knows? We're going to take the monorail over to the Magic Kingdom, but I wanted to show you a little bit of the construction in the lobby. Looks like they're uh, doing maybe just like quarters. I don't think they'd ever close the whole lobby at once, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Looks like we might be getting some new carpet, some fancy new carpet. Getting in good old monorail orange. Oh my lord. This is what? No way. Wait. wait, Kristen, can you hold this for me? Please? Oh my lord. I get to sit here? Yeah. No way. So we use the big old stick thing to drive. We've got five different propulsion selections. That's 15, 21, 22 is 20, 25, 30, 40 miles an hour. Neutral. So the train just coast, like you're coming down that hill. Breaking one through four, getting up with the heart of the train wings. It's that easy. Be when I retire. A monorail pilot. pilot. He really does. <laughs> it was so nice to meet you. Thank you. I just have to say that was one of the best things or most magical things that has ever happened to me. Uh, if you guys know, I am obsessed with the monorail. I've never been inside the monorail and today I got to sit in the uh, captain's chair. That's crazy and I'm official co-pilot. Like, that's awesome. I always tell my friends, I always say, when I retire, I just want to be a monorail pilot. And that's it. I just want to come to Disney and be a monorail pilot. Well, that was incredible. Like, I was so shocked. And I was walking by, and Connor, who was the monorail pilot, said, hey, come up to the front when you get off. I got something I want to show you. And that's how we ended up in that situation. But I am truly blessed. Thank you so much, Connor. You made my dreams come true. And now we're making our way into the Magic Kingdom. And we have made it to the Magic Kingdom. Isn't it amazing out right now? Wow, it's so beautiful. And uh, the fireworks tonight draw a huge crowd, so it's super busy here. And uh, people will start lining up like hours before the show actually starts. But wow, I just can't get over how amazing it looks tonight. Since we're celebrating the 4th of July tonight, I wanted to go to a couple of attractions I feel are very patriotic. And uh, my first stop is going to be the Carousel of Progress, mainly because there is a 4th of July scene. And uh, I always end up quoting it on the 4th of July. 
on top of the July on top of the 4th of July fireworks. It looks like they're doing a July 4th celebration with the canopy and all. Look at that. That's pretty fancy. I can't wait to see what kind of music they're going to be DJing here for the 4th of July. Phew, boy. Hottest 4th of July we've had in years. We've come a long way, though, since the turn of the century, over 20-some-odd years ago. You know that pilot fella, Charles Lindbergh? He's about to fly a single-wing airplane all the way across the Atlantic. <laughs> He's never going to make it. She's got us all roped into performing in their program, and right? I've decided we're going as George and Martha Washington, dear. Oh, the father of our country. <laughs> That's a role that really fits me. Oh, it's a nice tune, Jimmy. You know, with our new Crossley radio set, we can get news and big-time entertainment from all over the country, even Pittsburgh. But we're starting to arrive downtown for a spectacular 4th of July parade and fireworks event tonight. Mayor Pete Fields about... Oh, Patricia! Yeah. You have to love the carousel progress on the 4th of July. And good old Uncle Orville. The fireworks are starting in two hours. Two hours for the fireworks to start. And look at all the people camping out already. The hub is packed. Now, all these people are going to be waiting here for a long time. I'm actually thinking about maybe finding a good spot. It's a really good show. We're meeting up with a big group of friends. So I decided to actually mobile order a couple of mint juleps on this 4th of July so we can uh, sit down and hold down a firework spot. I got 11 mint juleps, 11 of them. <laughs> I've got these ones right here. Oh, look at this bracelet right here. What a champion. I am impressed. Oh, thank you. This is what we want to see walking through on the 4th of July. Look at this. <laughs> One handed, too. Look at that. Woo. Oh boy, it's getting busy. Holy moly. Everyone gets a mint julep. <laughs> it has definitely gotten a lot darker out and the castle looks really nice and the fireworks start in 20 minutes 20 minutes but it looks crazy in here doesn't it it looks like a party <laughs> celebrated the magnificence of this land. Tonight, we celebrate America, a land of many people, a country that continues to grow, a nation of courage and independence. America the Beautiful.
with joy, we celebrate the United States of America, a vast mosaic of individuality and inspiration, a vibrant palette of cultures and colors, a country whose pioneering spirit continues to live on in the hearts and minds of people who cherish freedom in this land and around the globe.
Just as the 50 stars and 13 stripes are so grandly united upon old glory, our nation's flag unites us all. Let us join together in salute to the red, white, and blue and cheer the hopes and dreams that continue to shine throughout America. Well, the fireworks were amazing. It took us so long to get out of there. It was so full, it was so packed, and uh, it seems like as soon as the, the fireworks ended, everyone rushed out. So we were all just kind of like mingering around a little bit, but I enjoyed them. It was fun, and everything was great. The whole weekend was amazing. Honestly, happy, uh, happy 4th of July to everyone, and then also congratulations to Gabby and Brandon. And and yeah, uh, well, I guess that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.